Hey everybody, welcome to Brickball. Today we are reviewing the Unikingdom Fairground Fun Set sent to us by LEGO to do reviews. Thanks a lot guys for sending this set down to us. Let's get into the light room. This is the largest, I believe the largest size set for in part count for the Unikini line. This is the theme that's based off of the Unikitty TV show, not necessarily what came from the Lego movie. And included are a lot of characters. Technically, none of these are, I think, true minifigures, but we do get Brock, Master Frown, Dr. Fox, Rick, Prince Puppycorn, and Unikitty. So um, it's uh, one of the only sets still so far to come with a couple of pieces that make up the roller coaster. I think there's probably only five or six sets so far in the Lego line that have that new part. And it's very, very colorful. Uh, as a basic breakdown, the set has 515 pieces and it sells for either $40, 40 pounds, or 40 euro. It's uh, flat across the board. And that actually makes it a pretty darn good part to price ratio, which is generally the case with this line and i think that's because a lot of the figures or a lot of the characters really aren't minifigures which minifigures do have a tendency to bring the price of a set for the bricks just a little bit higher uh, just in general but anyways let's get into all the different aspects of the set i'm going to do the characters maybe last and get into the coolest part which i believe is the roller coaster now what you'll notice about the roller coaster uh, right off the bat is it's actually not just the roller coaster right under here It's kind of a clever little bit of design, but that is the entrance gate So this is the little turnstile that you might want to pass through it spins around uh, just as good as many any uh, airplane propeller These are just a few uh, little side gates that maybe give you a boundary But this is the main function which I want to show you guys. I think it's the best part of the function that is it. There's actually a little locking mechanism in the shape of what looks like a little colorful bird. Let me pick that up and show you. It looks like a parrot. I'm going to say that's some type of parrot or bird of paradise. And come on, there we go. Go back up. Okay. Yeah. And the way it works is the beak actually fits just in that little space right there. And that's it. It's a really fun little function. And, uh, you can just pick this thing up very easily and have um, the roller coaster kind of slide back and forth, which is a fun little bit. Uh, there's a nice little bit of rainbow coloration there. I like, I really like that color combo. It even fades into the first pink arch, which is just a general color scheme that we've got here. And this is a, a little bit of an easier thing to see. That is the entrance gate, the Doki Diamond Funland. Funny, they didn't actually call that for the name of the set. This is just the Uni Kingdom, uh, the Uni Kingdom, Uni Kingdom Fairground Fun Set. But uh, let me show you that one more time from this angle. I mean now. So it's kind of funny. You see the inertia of the roller coaster itself, or the the cars going down, actually moves the whole set just a little bit because of that nice fast swinging motion. And then you can also see, let me break the cars off. You can have an idea of how, this is sort of how all the vehicles are set up within the entire Unikitty line. They're set up to hold onto these specific characters. So this can't hold onto, uh, let's say Brock, for example. Brock can't fit in there. He also can't fit in there. Brock can't ride this ride, period. It just doesn't work. So this only Prince Puppycorn or Unikitty could fit in here. And I believe, only Dr. Fox can fit in the back here. So all the seats are set up specifically for the characters. You can't fit minifigs, or you might be able to fit minifigs in here, but they won't be able to stay. Neither of these uh, characters can stud in, but let me show you, they won't fall out. You like that? You can just push it right in and you don't even have to lift it up in order to lock it. So that's a really fun little creation. Um, it looks good in terms of the colors. It takes up a lot of space, which I like uh, with not that many pieces. It kind of creates a larger play area. So pretty successful function. Let's move on to the next one. Now this spinning chair ride, I thought would have kind of a funny name or something. I thought it would have a special name for the ride, but according to the description, it's just a spinning chair ride, I think, which is kind of odd. Um, there's a gift store down here. This is a uh, sticker detailing. Everything down here is a sticker detailing. Gift store with a little register. You get a wand or a diamond. This is a popcorn 
popcorn stand, and a candy stand with, uh, I think that's cotton candy and a popsicle. Now the last one is, I think Mike was jokingly calling this a uh, unicorn, like a candy factory. It's actually a toilet, which is funny. Uh, maybe if it's a unicorn toilet, the gummy drops come out. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, it's a, it's a fun little, fun. It's actually a decent size. You get a lot of space for this bathroom scene. Uh, but anyways, the the best part of this, for sure, is the actual spinning function. So it spins around, and you can see kind of with the inertia that it it kind of widens out, which is I think how a lot of these types of fair rides really work. Maybe you should hold it down. You can really get a lot of uh, momentum there. This is a great printed piece though. Absolutely awesome. That's a printed piece. And all the faces that you have here, Brock's face or any of these guys, they're all printed on, which is nice. This, this theme actually has a pretty good amount of printed pieces. There is a little pink, pink little diamond or crystal in there. And this works pretty well. And you can also see this is a seat that's specifically meant for Brock. Uh, puppy corn or unikitty and then this is uh, what's his name mr. frown the frowny face guy um, yeah they all fit in there they don't stud in and they don't fly out so that's great they don't need to fit in with studs they just slide right in very well pretty darn easily and uh, that's it they're specifically specifically made for the seats and so this is works pretty well and whoa yeah you can actually get you can get a, a bit more height now that the characters are out to finish off the builds for the set, the Fairground Fun uh, set has three more little things to look at. This is a nice little ice cream stand. I like the cloud formations that we've got here. Maybe a couple of uh, cherries or gumdrops or something on the top. It actually also just looks like it could be ice cream. And included are three floats. One strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Another little sticker detailing to show the register. It's just got a bunch of rainbows and hearts and just colorful little buttons. So. Uh, everything in here is a very sort of cutesy fantasy style theme, if you can't already guess. This, I was trying to figure this out. It kind of looks like a yellow frog of some sort. There's definitely some weird kind of amphibian type shape to the head, a funny little tongue that sticks out. And you can tell by the way that it's set up, it has to fit either Unikitty or Prince Puppycorn. It can't fit any of the other characters. And then for this last one, also somewhat amphibious, but it's got some big sharp teeth here. Another cutesy little thing. It kind of, they kind of look like bumper cars together. And I believe only Dr. Fox, well maybe Dr. Fox or, um, gosh, what is this frowny face's guy's name? You know what, I'm gonna get into the minifigs right now or the characters right now and I'm gonna figure out his name. Okay, yeah, right, okay, it's Master Frown. There we go. All right, so now we get a much better look at him. His head is actually attached with that little uh, thinner Technic piece. That's a printed uh, face print. Definitely a frown, definitely a frown. Can you turn it upside down? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, he's a fine little build. Honestly, he's probably one of my least favorite brick built characters. Next up is Unikitty. She pretty much looks like this throughout all of the sets. Uh, interesting to have the, um, that is that inkwell piece, but done in lime green. And I'm pretty sure that's the only time we're gonna see that piece molded in lime green. She's got her tail different color feet. That expression is pretty much present in all of the different Unikitty sets and a nice looking version for her, uh, definitely. And now here's Prince Puppycorn. He's also in most of the sets, I would say. Uh, most interesting piece for him for sure is this ear piece that's a tile on top and then has kind of that little rounded triangle over to show his little puppy ears. Got a little unicorn spike sticking out of his head. That could look like a collar. That's just the black inkwell piece. Nice looking guy. He kind of reminds me of Sonic. Doesn't he have the same color combination as Sonic? And if he looks like Sonic, then Dr. Fox certainly reminds me of Tails, if I can get, <laughs> if I can get Dr. Fox out of there. So this has the most unique pieces for sure. The uh, Nexo Knight's arm piece that was used for some of those bad guys has been molded now in white. So they stick out of just those regular one by one uh, little Technic pinhole pieces. This is a new, relatively new piece. It's appeared in the Harry Potter sets in tan and a couple of different colors for the Unikitty line, but it's just the one by one that's now a triangle. Good print. Also look at the shape of the head too. That's a two by two, uh, one by two, but it's got these rounded edges that pop out. 
Very interesting looking character. Definitely reminds me of like Tails from Sonic and also Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. This is Brock. All right. And last here is Rick. The one by three, also with a frown. Lots of frowny characters in this particular set. But let's look at the whole thing together. This set has quite a few good things going for it, I would say. Uh, this theme in particular just has a lot of nice colors. Lots of new pieces molded in nice bright colors for the first time that you see here, as well as other ones from this line. It has a pretty darn good part to price ratio. Like I said before, that's probably because none of the characters are actual minifigs, even though we do get some exclusively molded uh, pieces. Like, I don't think we've ever gotten the Dr. Fox head shape piece before. There's several other new colors, so there's definitely a lot of unique things to enjoy from this set, minus the minifigs. I know that could be maybe a detractor for some, but all in all, the play functions work. Uh, the style that they were going for, this kind of cutesy, fun, fantasy land has, I think, totally been achieved. And uh, yeah, I think, I think I've enjoyed this one quite a bit. All right, that's it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe, and we'll see you next time at Brick Ball. Oh, hey, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that video. I just wanted to pop in really quick and say that we do have a web store, BrickVault.toys, uh, that sell instructions for super high quality mocks uh, that are built by incredibly talented designers. So that is the first link in the description below. And also there's other videos too. We've got other things if you want to watch that. All right. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.